In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your map pin with your face on it and how to copy and paste it on to all of the slides in this activity. So the first thing you'll do is go to slide two and if you'd like to change the color of the pin here in the middle of your screen, you can click on it and then go up to the bucket fill in the toolbar and choose the color that you'd like it to be. After you're finished with that, you're going to take your photo using your computer's camera. And you'll do that by clicking on the image button in the toolbar and then going down and clicking on camera. After you take your photo, you'll insert it and it'll appear in the middle of the screen. Now, we want to crop this image to fit in the pin. And if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see what we're going to make. So I have to first click on the image. Then I'm gonna go up to the toolbar and click on this down arrow next to the crop button. It says mask image. I'm then gonna click on shapes and I'll go and find the oval. I'm gonna click on oval and you can see that my picture has turned into an oval, but we need to crop it a little bit more. My image is still selected. I'm gonna click on the crop button now in the toolbar. Next, I'm gonna click and drag on these black lines that have appeared. I'm gonna click and drag them in. On the left-hand side, I'll click and drag it in. Now, you can see what happened this time. I didn't quite click on the black line on the side of the picture. I accidentally clicked on these blue boxes and it's kind of tricky. So if that happens to you, all you do is click the undo button in your toolbar and just try it again. So I'm gonna click and drag this time and you can see I've done it correctly because it's dragging like an oval. Now when I let go, you can see that it worked. So I can click on the top and drag it down if I want. I can click on the bottom and drag it up. Remember, you're clicking on these little black lines around the edge. Now, when you have it the size you'd like, you're gonna click on that crop button once again in the toolbar. Now I just need to make the image smaller. So I'm gonna click on the blue boxes this time in the corner of the image and drag it in and then you'll just position your photo right in the center of the pin. A few more things we have to do. To make sure that our pin moves as one piece, I'm gonna hold down control on my keyboard and then I'm gonna click on the pin and click on my photo. Now that they're selected, I'm gonna right click on them or two finger click if you're on a Chromebook, and I'm gonna go down and click on group. When I click on group, now you can see that when I click and drag it, they're together. The next thing we have to do is we have to put your pin on each of the slides in this presentation. So to do that, you'll click on your pin, and then click Control C to copy on your keyboard, and then go to each of the slides and hit Control V on your keyboard to paste. And you can move your pin out of the way. So you'll go through all of the slides and just hit Control V to paste. Now I wanna show you one more tip. In this activity, I'm gonna find a map of my state, which is for me, California. So what I'll do is I'll click Insert Image in the toolbar, and then I'm going to click on Search the Web. I'm going to type in California map. When I find one I like, I'll double click on it and I'm gonna drag it into this box. Now, I wanna put myself on the map, but you'll notice when I click and drag myself, my pin gets hidden behind that map. So what you have to do is right click on your pin or two finger click and then click on order, bring it to front. And you'll notice when I do that, now my picture is the thing on top. So then I would click and drag my pin to where I live in California. So anytime you have that image, you just have to make sure that you put your pin to the front, the top layer. All right, that's all for this video. If you need to watch the video again while you're working, it's always here on slide number nine.